since 2008, you have been championing a causal tool called BART. So Bayesian non-parametric modeling for causal inference. So <laughs> this kind of is one of those tools that could be abused uh, to find causal relationships. What is, what is special about this? You've been championing it for so long. Um, what's special about it? How is it different from, uh, how is it different from tools that we use just for inferring correlations? And how does it compare with other causal inference tools out there? Yeah. So, um, BART stands for Bayesian Additive Regression Trees, actually. It's like a uh, Bayesian form uh, of gradient boosting, actually. Yeah, I, um, <laughs> I guess... It's fun. <laughs> That's the name of yeah. the... the, the um, uh, probably the article it was in or, or something. Paper, yeah. The paper about it. It's like yeah, Bayesian non-parametric yeah. modeling for causal inference is like kind of what it's doing, but that definitely does not make a nice acronym like BART. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, okay. So why is, um, BART great? So BART is a, just a, a model fitter, right? It's, it's an algorithm like you might think of random forest. It's also based on trees. Random forest, um, is averages of trees. Uh, BART is additive trees. So, you know, it's like the difference between random forest and, and boosting. Um, but, uh, the, BART has lots of nice properties that make, in, in, in essence, you could use any kind of flexible fitter. There are um, very popular causal inference, random forest based uh, algorithms out there. There are lots of different options. Um, the reason I like, so actually I, my, the first time I talked about this at a conference was in 2005. <laughs> it's been a long time at the Atlantic Causal Inference Conference. Um, it took a long time to get that paper published, two different journals. Um, the world has changed. Uh, yeah. But uh, anyway, um, the reason I like BART is because, okay, it's an extremely flexible model fitter. Lots of things have that property. So that's no longer such a big deal. Um, why is BART better in, than those is really what it comes down to. The nice thing for me is that it's embedded in a Bayesian framework. So you get a bunch of bonuses for that. First of all, you naturally get coherent uncertainty estimates. So if you want to understand what your posterior distribution is for a range of different estimates, whether it's an average treatment effect for everyone in your sample or the whole population or just part of your sample or any number of different kinds of estimates, uh, you can get coherent uncertainty intervals. And you don't have to do a separate bootstrapping thing, which is going to come with its own sets of assumptions, et cetera. Um, it allows, sorry, it, it avoids overfitting through an extremely clever prior specification, as opposed to having tuning parameters that you have, then have to use cross-validation to choose. And then in theory, you should be trying to represent that in your uncertainty estimates, right? It's, it's, it's a lot less ad hoc. Um, so that, and I should note, I should have said this in the beginning, that um, BART was created by Chipman, George, and McCullough. So I don't want to claim it's just a great tool that I happen to like a lot, but they're the ones who came up with all this clever stuff. Um, great prior specification that helps to avoid overfitting, and you don't have to do anything like splitting your sample, right? Um, in theory, you can use cross-validation to choose the hyperparameters in your priors, and you might get a slightly better fit. I do that once in a while, depending on how high stakes the things are or how fragile they seem. Um, like if I'm not getting convergence, et cetera. But in general, um, you can you can use it with just the default prior. Um, because again, it's in this Bayesian framework, it's easily combined with other modeling strategies. So actually just sending it a paper today on a new algorithm um, uh, that our team has created, uh, my collaborator, Vince Dory, who wrote one of the main BART packages, was the lead on this, um, which is an amalgam between BART and the STAN algorithm to mm -hmm. expand BART to allow for multi-level models. So mm -hmm. most machine learning algorithms assume IID observations, even if they claim that they don't. <laughs> so it's great um, to be able to account for correlation across observations within groups. Um, it's also been combined with strategies for identifying situations where your two groups are just too different to be compared, right? So if you're comparing a school in 
I don't know, uh, New York City with a school in the rural South. Maybe that's not how you want to do your mask mandate <laughs> um, policy comparison because there's too many other differences right. between the groups. So it'll help you identify situations where that's happening empirically. Uh, and it's got a great track record in practice. It's won a bunch of data analysis challenges in the causal inference world and just seems to perform well on average. Um, there are some other methods that have like theorems proved about them, but the theorems rely on asymptotics that you never really believed right. at all ever and things like that. So I like the fact that it's kind of got this long track record now.